Hi, Ted's Cradle here. Uh, I've only ever entered one contest, but this is going to be my second. This is my entry into Sage 225 recipe contest. This is going to be my... Wait, hold on just a minute. Prepper A, what are you doing with that shredder? Oh, I heard you're entering Mrs. Sage's contest with your banana nut bread recipe. Yeah, so what does that have to do with... What does that have to do with shredding up my recipe cards? Oh, I'm just showing Miss Sage what to do with all her other banana nut bread recipes after she tries yours. Oh, I understand. Okay, well, let's tell her how to do it then. Okay, here we are at the mixer, and here's what goes in the banana bread. And you're going to be amazed that it's so straightforward, yet it tastes so amazing. Uh, cream cheese and butter, flour, sugar, Salt, baking soda, and baking powder. I'll give all of the uh, amounts below. Two eggs, vanilla, a cup and a half of banana. Sometimes it takes uh, four if they're small, but I think I'll probably be able to use three of these and get a cup and a half of mashed banana. And today we're going to use chopped walnuts. You can use chopped pecans. Walnuts are what I have open, so that's what I'm using. Just a tip here. If you want to get more loft in your baked products, be sure to use your eggs at room temperature. About 30 minutes before I bake, I crack them into a bowl and let them come to room temperature. And they'll beat up much more nicely like that. Okay, so I'm going to whip all this up. Uh, I'm going to start with the cream cheese and butter. Whip it till it's light. Add the sugar. Add the eggs at one time. I'm going to combine the dry ingredients. You just saw me do that. That was easy. Uh, the vanilla goes in after the sugar and eggs. Incorporate that all nicely. Then put in your dry ingredients just till it's mixed. Okay? Then I'm going to turn off my mixer, take the bowl off the stand, and fold in my walnuts. Simple as that. Uh, what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to divide the ingredients in between two well-greased loaf pans. I do not flour my loaf pans. I don't like the way um, the banana nut bread or pumpkin bread or anything I bake like that comes out uh, with flour on it on the outside, and I don't like the way it tastes. And if you will really grease your pans well, you don't have to use flour on them. So I'll bring you back at that point right before they're ready to go in the oven so you can see what they're like. I realize I'm bringing you back earlier than I told you I was going to, but I uh, realize that some people who... Uh, may be watching this, may not be very experienced at baking. When I've whipped the butter and the cream cheese sufficiently, it gets very pale in color, and that's what you're looking for. So now the sugar is going to go in, get incorporated well, one egg at a time, then the dry mixture. Uh, well, actually, I'll put the bananas in before the dry mixture, and then just fold the nuts in. So, okay, just wanted you to see that. All right, here's the batter in the pans, ready to go into a nice preheated oven. When you uh, pour it up, you're going to think, man, something's wrong. That's just too thick. There's not enough liquid in there. Not so. Don't fidget with the recipe. Do it just like, just like it's written below uh, the video here. Okay, now they're going to go in the oven. I'll show you when they come out. All right, we're back, and they're out of the oven. And you can see the beautiful golden color they have on them. Uh, it takes about an hour to bake them, but I start watching them about 45 minutes. About 45 minutes in. And if they're taking on a good bit of brown color, then I lightly just drape a piece of foil over the top of them. Uh, in fact, I just tear a big sheet and just drape it over both of them. Now, I'm not, you know, enclosing it or pressing it down or sealing them in the foil. I just drape it over the top so it doesn't brown too much because I like the beautiful yellow color of the banana to show through. So, the secret to getting these out of the pans, and you want to wait, especially on something that has like two cups of sugar in it, like this does, uh, you want to wait because as it cools, it will start shrinking away from the sides a little bit. And when you see that, when it's really kind of pulling away, it's already starting to do it. But I'm going to wait a little longer, maybe about five minutes. See over here. 
yeah, shrinking away a little bit. I'm going to wait about five minutes, and then I'm going to turn them out. And that way, you're pretty much assured that it's not going to stick on the bottom at all. So when I've turned them out, I'll come back and show them to you. Okay, I waited about five minutes and took the loaves out of the pan. I ran a knife around the outside of the pan, I guess the inside of the pan, between the pan and the uh, banana nut bread to be sure it was loose and turned it right out. I'm starting my little, um, my little glaze here. I've diced up some lemon peel and I've got some lemon juice. Now to make the glaze, you can use milk if you want to. I like lemon juice. I've used orange juice. Uh, and I will tell you, when you look at the amount of liquid to powder sugar, you're going to think, well, that's not enough. But if you've never done this before, it only takes a little bit of liquid to make a powdered sugar uh, drizzled icing. So I'm going to add some powdered sugar to this. I'm going to let these cool just a little bit more, and um, then, I'll, then I'll put drizzle the icing on you, and I'll show, that, show you how that's done. Okay, the loaves are, uh, have been cooled enough to, to ice, and here's what I do. The one we're going to eat, I put on a platter like this. It looks pretty on a yellow platter, and this is a, this is an old antique platter. It just looks really pretty. And then the one that I'm going to put in the freezer, I put down a layer of heavy-duty aluminum foil, then a piece of wax paper, and then I put my loaf on it. Then when I ice it, some of the icing will drain down in the wax paper, which is all good. And I'll fold the wax paper up around it, and then I'll fold the foil around it, and I'll put it in the freezer. And it freezes beautifully, comes out great. So let's go ahead and, and ice this one. I make my icing fairly stiff. Here's what it looks like. You see the little bits of lemon peel in it. I don't add any other flavor into this. I like the clean, tart taste of the lemon. It's kind of a nice uh, juxtaposition to the sweet banana flavor. And there's really no rhyme or reason. Just drizzle it on. I like it to where every, you know, every piece gets it. some icing, though. So I'll just keep doing this, and then uh, when the icing is set up, it doesn't take but about 15 minutes for it to kind of harden enough to slice, then I will let Prepper A taste it for you. Uh, she's tasted it many times, and she can probably tell you without it. You probably don't even need to taste this, do you? Oh, I'll taste it for you. <laughs> you want to taste it? You know what? I think the viewers of this video need to know how delicious it is. Oh, you're going to do it. You're going to do it for the sake of my subscribers? They need to know. They need to know. All right. Well, we'll <laughs> let her come back and taste it in a few minutes. All right. Here it is, plated up. It's so delicious that you can even serve it for dessert. You know I've never steered you wrong. When I'm telling you this is great banana nut bread, it's probably not like any you've ever had before. When I made it the first time, it was I just thought it was exceptional. You can leave the nuts out. You can change the topping. You can use orange instead of lemon. You don't have to use anything. You can just mix up powdered sugar and a little bit of milk. Uh, you know, you can mix another flavoring in it. It's just real easy uh, for the topping, just whatever you like. So I've got two test taste testers here today. I've got Paladin Prepper and Prepper A who are going to tell you what they think. Cut's easy. Yeah. Hopefully it's nice and moist. This is the best banana nut bread ever. Oh, baby. Mmm. That tastes like more. Well, I'm telling you, really, if you try this, you will not be sorry. So there you have it. The key to any uh, cake, brownie, uh, nut bread like this, in my opinion, the key is not to overbake it. You want to... Um, you want to keep it moist. So if you're going to overbake it, in my opinion, you know, why bother? Anyway, if you try it, well, you can see this piece is almost gone. If you try it, be sure and let me know what you think. Cat's Cradle, and good luck to all the other uh, contestants who are entering.